So for today, I actually found three forms that can interact with Notion very well, and they're actually all free. So at the left, we have Google Forms. Let's check the add-on that you can actually download for your Google Form, so that actually linked to your Notion database. So at the right, we have Chili Pepper. This is actually one of the more popular form for Notion. As you can see, the, the R is actually very minimalistic. And then at the right, we have Notion Forms, which I think is actually one of the more professional looking forms. And then they have actually quite a few advanced features for free users and even for paid users. So for this demonstrations, I'm actually going to show you how these all three forms interact with the database they already have. So which is at the top. So this is Spencer's database. So let's just jump to the demo now. So we'll start with Google Forms then. So first one, maybe we can just say dinner and then choose the expense type, food, and then user, Thomas, and then amount maybe 100. And just click submit. You can see it's being submitted. And just let's go to top. And as you can see, it's almost like instantaneous. It's being updated. One of the things that actually need updated update is actually the status, which you can see. I was hoping it to update for pending for review, but it doesn't. So that's kind of the downside of Google Form. And let's move on to Chili Pepper. So Chili Pepper. And then select for myself, Thomas again. How much? 200. That's expensive Chili. And select Food. And submit. So as you can see, it's taking a little bit longer. But it should be quite quick too. As you can see, it's already here. And at the same time, it doesn't have the status. And then let's go to the, our last contender, Notion form. So team building. Let's select the type. So this reimbursement. User, maybe Lily. And then 300. And submit. All right. So one of the good things about Notion form is that after you submit a form, you can actually have like custom text for your users and also a link where you can actually redirect them to another website. So this is one of the good point of it. I believe Google Form should be able to do it. So I'm not sure why it's showing thank you. But yeah, so let's go back to the top. As you can see, we have dinner, team building here, reimbursement. So the biggest difference for Notion Form is that, so actually select your first default status, so which is pending for review. So this can be quite useful for users who want to be have the Kanban board. So pending for review, approved, rejected, so that they can actually have a board to review their requests. So here at the right, I just have like an expenses chart, which can just show the data. So just to submit up, just the amount that's been submitted. All right. So that's the end of the demo. And yeah, so let's move on to the comparisons. So based on the three forms, in terms of aesthetics, so Google Form is actually one of the most customizable one. You can actually include your own images and then your logo. So it doesn't restrict you. As for Chili Pepper, they actually have like a branding here, a save for Notion form for the free version. And then, yeah, it's also worth mentioning that Notion form do have like like and dark mode, if you're into that. As for recognition, Google form is easily the most popular one. So it could be an easier options for if you want to do like a survey, just to let people know, because like Chili Pepper and Notion form, they are pretty unknown to the wider audience. And then for plan, they all have free plans. And then you can use unlimited times, and then for Chili Pepper, if you pay $5 per month, you can actually remove their branding. And then similar for Notion Form. So for paid, so Notion Form has actually have more advanced feature, like linking your relation database. But there will be for another video where I actually do a deep dive into the Notion Form paid version. So as, a, as for the setup, so actually all three of them are very easy. But I would say that Notion Form is the easiest. Maybe next is um, Google Form, and then to Chili Pepper. And then the next one is the syncing with Notion Table. So actually, Google Form doesn't sync with the Notion table. So what do I mean by sync, right? Is that, so let's say you have this type here. So different type of travel, reimbursement, medical. But for Google Form, you actually have to type in, key in all these things uh, manually because it's not synced to your Notion. So like in case there's any changes to your Notion table, it doesn't actually reflect here. So for Chili Pepper and Notion Form, so you actually sync with your database. So But the only downside for Chili Pepper is that Every time you make an update here in the type, you actually have to go to back to Chili Pepper and just reconnect, just to make sure that your data has been updated. Which in Notion form case, I think that is just automatically linked. Every time this changes, it should reflect in the table. And then for database relation, so I mentioned earlier, so there's no, you can't actually link the database. Similar for Chili Pepper, but Notion form, there's a paid version for it. 
And then for custom form logic, so like in case you want to create a dynamic bunch, so in case you want to create a dynamic branch, so let's say it's like yes for this, and then you can show another options. So like no, you can show another options. So this is actually just a built-in Google Form options functionality they can use. So compared to Chili Pepper and Pe Notion Form, they don't have this. And then for workspaces, those so this means that the number of Notion account that you can use. Those so there's no restriction for Google Form, for Chili Pepper and Notion Form. So it's one account per workspace, meaning one account per no one Notion account. And then lastly, the number of submissions is unlimited, unlimited, unlimited. So there's actually no limits on how many times you actually submit a form. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you like what you're seeing. So actually, all three of these forms are actually very good. It just depends on what your use case is. For Google Form, it might just be the name, the brand. For Chili Pepper, it might be for the simplicity. For Notion Form, it might be the advanced feature that it has. And yeah, so let me think what you think about the video. And let me know what you want to see next. So if you like Notion Tablet, you can always check out my previous videos that I've done, especially on this social media template that I've created lately. So yeah, thanks for watching.